So this game sells RNG blew up recently, and if you're anything like me, then you're liking this game is horrible, and while I was playing it the other day, I thought to myself, hey, why not make my own version of this? But to make this even harder, I only have 24 hours. If you don't know what Souls RNG is, it's a game where all you do is click this roll button hoping to get good auras, which are these effects around my character. And some of these auras are insanely rare, I'm talking 1 in 200 million. And at the time I'm recording this video, this game has over 100,000 people playing it right now. So here's the problem, I wanna make Souls RNG, but I have no idea how to use the Roblox particle system. So I followed this tutorial on YouTube, and using this pack that I found, I managed to make around 30 auras. The first couple of auras are the same particle with just the color and image changed, but from this point I started combining multiple particles like this one, which took me quite a while to make, but I really like how it turned out. Then there is these weird ones, which I'm not really a fan of. I then made these lightning auras, and while messing around with a particle, I accidentally made this spinning floor thing, which I thought looked really cool, and for these I just added these weird particle balls, but then I ran out of ideas, so I just used this particle that I found on the pack, and for the best auras in the game, I just combined elements from all of the previous auras, and also some effects that came with the pack. I know it's pretty bad, but it will get the job done. Anyway, now I needed to make the interface, so I tried copying Souls RNG's UI, and since I don't have much time, I kinda rushed it, and it turned out looking like this. We have the roll, auto roll, and inventory button, the inventory frame, and the roll pop-up that shows up whenever you click the roll button. Before I started scripting the game, I had to come up with names for each aura, so I did the obvious thing to do and asked ChatGPT to come up with the names, so I had to painfully go through each aura and rename it, then I put all of them in a module and gave them temporary chance values, which was also very time consuming and repetitive. Now it was time for the hardest part, the scripting, so I scripted a simple chance system and the auto roll system, but I made it skip auras that aren't rare enough and auto equip good ones, I also made a nice little rolling animation which looks like this. But at this point I needed to make the inventory UI work, so that's exactly what I did, and I really like how this is turning out so far. The next thing I did was skip the equip and skip button, so that when you are not auto rolling, it gives you the option to equip or skip the aura that you just got, and this took way too long to make because of how the rolling system was set up earlier, and it also had multiple bugs, but at the end I managed to get it to work. Okay, so now the next step is to build the map, so I started building, but then I realized that I can't actually build, like, what even is this? Yeah, I should probably just stick to scripting. So I asked my friend who allows you to build me a small map. So first, like for every map, we need the assets. So, it didn't take too much thinking, but I came up with something I needed. I made trees, bush, flowers, grass, and rocks. I wanted something to look a lot like Souls RNG and remind people about it, so I used the stud texture. After that, I made an island in the middle of nowhere, put water around it because I thought it looked cool, and then I built some hills to avoid making it look flat. I decorated it using the assets I made previously, and added a few paths because it felt kind of empty. But this is the final product. And finally, after around 10 hours, I was finally done with this, and this is the finished result. And after all that, this is what I was able to create with the help of Willonzi. So you can roll, and by the way, I love how this rolling animation turned out. You can skip, or we can equip this time. We're gonna equip, and we can also equip other auras from our inventory. We can equip the glowing purple, and uh, we can also auto roll. And this will automatically equip the good ones and skip the bad ones. And what I want to do now is AFK for a bit and see what's the best aura that I can get. Okay, and finally after like 100 rolls we got this. And the electric purple, which is my favorite. And this thing, which I don't know why I set it to 1 in 5571, because it looks pretty bad. Uh, but yeah, my favorite one is still electric purple, which looks really cool. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!